Hello gardening friends, I'm Julie McDonald and I'm inside my home today in Flagstaff, Arizona, usually I'm outside, but I wanted to show you some really cool plants and how to tell the difference between a Thanksgiving cactus and a Christmas cactus. So I have here two cactus. This is a Christmas cactus and this little beauty is a Thanksgiving cactus. Now these have very different histories. This Christmas cactus right up here was my grandmother's. And she was born in 1870 in Sweden. And um, this cactus is almost 100 years old. They are considered an heirloom plant. And um, this is a short commercial. You can read about my grandmother in this book, Unbreakable Dolls, and uh, seven other women from uh, Northern Arizona. That is a brief, but less annoying than most commercials are. So. Um, anyway, I've had this for almost 50 years, and what I want to show you today is um, the difference between these two. Um, the Christmas cactus, a lot of times people will say, oh, I have a, I have a Christmas cactus, but, um, it, but it blooms at Thanksgiving. Well, it's, not a, it's probably a Thanksgiving cactus. You can tell if you look at these little pads here, these are pads, and they have kind of a round scalloped edge. And um, this one, as you can see, is not blooming. Now it has some little tiny buds that I've noticed around there, they're about the size of a pin, little, little tiny ones. But now we're gonna focus on this Thanksgiving cactus, which is in full bloom. Now this is the end of October, and you can see by Thanksgiving, it's gonna be beautiful. This uh, cactus, it doesn't have quite the uh, extraordinary history of the Christmas cactus. It was found in the trash and someone had set this out for the garbage and one of my customers found it, brought it to me, set it at my feet and said, here you go. So I brought it in, this was this summer, it was not blooming, brought it in and put it in a window and look at it now. It's absolutely beautiful, fully ready to bloom. And you can see that each one of the ends here is, is gonna be covered with buds and uh, bloom beautifully. Now, what do these plants need? Oh, and the, let me explain something else. Even if they're not blooming, another way to tell the, um, the Thanksgiving cactus, I always ask people, does it look like it has teeth? Like two little sharp teeth. And you can see at the end here how this is not, it's a thicker, heavier pad, tends to be more upright. And then it has these little pointed ends at the end of the pads that look like teeth. And so that's a very easy way to tell them apart. Now they're related, but they are a different plant. And, but what they need is the same. So what you're gonna want to do with them, they, um, God created them in such a way that what, co what causes them to bloom, what signals them to, to start setting buds is the change in the seasons. So they need to be in a window in which they can sense that change. So the best place for them is, I found, a south-facing window where they get some light. They don't have to be right in the window. They can be uh, maybe a few feet away, but they need to have that sun on them. Um, and they stay in that place all year long. You don't move them around. And someone has said, you put them in the basement. You don't need to put, don't put them in the basement. Leave them right where they are and they will be just fine. Um, and don't put them outside. If you need to clean them, you can brush the pads with a little cotton cloth, or they can go outside and, and be hosed down once. But houseplants don't like to be outside. They can get sunburned, windburn, and um, people say, well, I want them to get some fresh air. They don't want fresh air. So leave them in the house. They also don't need a lot of care. They're bug resistant. They need uh, watering once a week, a full watering. I like to have them in a saucer so that the saucer fills up. That's all they need. I give them miracle Girl once a year. And if they get to looking shaggy or one side gets longer, just go ahead and, and trim them. Now, to propagate them, it's very easy. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what you're gonna do to propagate them is you're gonna find a plate, and you do it the same way on both. I'm just gonna show it on the Christmas cactus here. I'm gonna take a piece of this cactus from the back and I just cut that cactus off and where they root is on a joint. And you'll see that there's where the, the pads form new pads, that's the joint. So you're gonna cut this anywhere. It doesn't matter where you cut it really. 
You're gonna place it in some soil. This is just potting soil, miracle Grow potting soil, and you cover all the joints with some potting soil. That's all you have to do. And I usually like to try to do several of these, like here's another one, because I have about a 60% success rate of these when I, when I pot them. So I do usually several in a pot. I like this size, doesn't need to be deep, needs to be wide on top so you can lay these, uh, the cuttings on the top. I put them in a warm room, not necessarily in full sun. They can go in a window, but that's a little cool sometimes. So I put them away from the window, keep them warm, and they will begin to root and grow. And before long, you'll have a, a beautiful one. Now, the interesting thing, the Christmas cactus comes in pink, and I have occasionally seen white, not too often. The Thanksgiving cactus comes in four different colors that I have seen. It comes in red, pink, white, in a real pretty salmon color. So what I did one year was I took cuttings of the, um, the red Thanksgiving cactus and I had a white one and I mixed them together and sold those and they were two different colors and people thought it was a genius. So not really a genius, but that's what people were saying. So um, you can go ahead and try that, mix, any, mix the colors um, and these will do just great. The other way, to propagate them if needed is you can take the cuttings like I showed you here, wrap them in a wet paper towel, put them in a plastic bag, keep them in a warm place with light, and those will also root and you can, you can pot them. Either way will work. So I hope you um, enjoy this. I hope you can tell the difference now between the cactus and that you will um, try one or the other. They're a wonderful plant to have. Thanks for watching.